Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore the APIPKG library. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced or not. This is a very new library released uh, in the end of 2022. Um, there's not much documentation on it, not much uh, resources online. So I decided I would take a look and make a video on it because it has a rather interesting concept. Uh, it's not something that is... Uh, really there. There's no other library right now that I'm aware of that can actually do this, at least for modern Python versions. So what is this library and why do we use it? Well, this library is based off the concept of lazy loading modules in Python. Basically, the idea is that you should only import a module when you actually need it, not all at the beginning. Like, for example, we might be importing time, might be importing numpy, might be importing pandas, might be importing takinter, so on and so forth. These could be like dozens of libraries that we may be including. Now this all has a startup cost associated with it. It takes time to import these. And when you have big libraries like TensorFlow or OpenCV, this can result in quite a bit of startup time to actually begin your Python application. This is a problem in startup time critical applications. So libraries like apipkg are designed to circumvent this. How do they do that? Let's find out. So the first thing you want to do is install this library. Okay, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run that command. Okay, instead I'm just going to import it. Or actually, sorry, I'm not going to import it over here. What I'm going to do is create a package, okay? Now you see this over here uh, on the left hand side. I'm going to create a folder. This is my lazy loading tutorial folder. So I'm going to create a package, okay, which is basically just a folder called package. And inside this, if you're not familiar with how to create packages in Python, um, this is how you do it. You create in a folder. Then you create an init.py file. This file can be empty. You don't have to put anything in here. Okay, then you can do this. You can create module A. I'm just gonna create two modules here as examples. There could be any number of modules in here. So I'm just gonna create some placeholder functions just so we have something in here that we can use. Okay, this is an addition function in module A. And I'm gonna make a subtraction function in here. Now what we're going to do is go over to our init.py file. We just need to write some code here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is import a pipkg over here. All right. And now we're going to do this dot init package. Okay. To basically initialize our package underscore underscore name underscore underscore. All right. Now we're, we're going to create this dictionary over here. And inside this dictionary, we're going to write something arbitrary. Uh, basically, you can do anything over here. You could type path, uh, you could type um, modules, okay, wh whichever, doesn't really matter. Now create another dictionary in here. And then we're going to do this, like add. Okay, I'll explain what all this means in a minute. Then I'm going to do uh, package dot module a dot py. Okay, then I'm going to create one for subtract module b dot p y. Okay, now I'm going to come back here, then I'm going to import package, then I'm going to do result is equal to, let's just first make sure everything's working. Okay, then I'm going to see whether, uh, you know, I'll show you the lazy loading part of all this. So let's do this. And if this is correct, we should get our result of 11. And no, something went wrong. Oh, wait, hold on. First of all, I was not supposed to do that. All right, and what I had to do was this. Okay, module B sub, all right. Basically, you need to put the dots between packages and files. And when it comes to classes or functions, then you do a semicolon. Okay, typically at the very end. So now I'm going to run this and this should, yes, it works. Okay, I got 11 as my output. So now we know everything is working 
uh, we have everything set up, okay? This is how we initialized our packages. We basically defined a path over here. That's what the documentation calls this kind of thing. And then over here, we define the functions or the classes that we want to use in our main file. Now, what exactly is the lazy loading aspect of this? Well, what we do here, when we define these two separate uh, functions, one from module A, one from module B, we are basically saying that these are gonna be two separate uh, independent kind of mini packages. Normally, if we just went and imported package as a normal Python package, it would import both of these modules, all right? It would import both module A with its add function and module B with its subtract function. But when we do this using a pipkg with this special initialization code, then this does not happen, okay? Neither of these are imported until we actually call this function, okay? For example, let me show you this. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna put a print statement here called module A was imported, okay? And anytime something is in the global scope of a module, okay? And then when you import it, that, that thing, that code in the global scope is executed. So we can verify here. I'm gonna do this for module B as well, okay? Subtract and I'm also gonna put in some time.sleep statements in here. Let me just import time so that we can slow this program down and observe the print statements as they come through. Okay, I've hit enter. And now two seconds passed, module A was imported. Two seconds passed, module B was imported. Now, if this was a normal Python package that we had imported, this would have printed out both these import statements at the very beginning. But this is not the case because we're using a pipkg and it is, it is only importing these modules. It's lazy loading these modules only when required. So that's what make this, makes this library so special. So that's the end of this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye then.